I don't know what you're missing most at the moment, but one of the things I'm really missing is being able to talk to people face to face. I'm doing an awful lot of video calling and getting used to the features on Skype and FaceTime and Zoom. And I'm really enjoying catching up with friends, some from all over the world. But when I press that end call button, I just can't help get the feeling that I'd really love to see that person uh, face to face and talk like we used to. And when I'm out on my daily walks, one of the things I really like doing is seeing people I know and having a chat with them from across the road. It's so good to see somebody in 3D rather than just in 2D on the screen. I'm just really missing talking to people face to face and that's how God made us to communicate. It's really tough and I can only imagine how those feelings must be multiplied if you're currently living alone. In our morning prayer reading this morning, we read how the Lord would speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. This gives us a wonderful picture of the intimacy that Moses enjoyed with God and that we too can enjoy with God. We can talk to God face to face as a man speaks to his friend. There's something very precious, particularly in these times. We can talk to God at any time, anywhere and about anything and we can hear him speak to us too. This friendship with God is something that can really sustain us when we're not able to communicate with people face to face as we would want to. However, later on in that chapter of Exodus, we read that Moses asked God to show him his glory and the Lord replied, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you and I will proclaim my name, but you cannot see my face for no one can see my face and live. And then God hid Moses in a cleft in the rock and he covered him with his hand and his glory passed by. Then God removed his hand and Moses saw his back, but not his face. I think this contrast between those two references to God's face in this chapter is really interesting and really important for us to remember. God is our father and our friend. He loves us and we can talk to him face to face. However, at the same time, he is almighty. He is awesome. He is holy. He is all powerful and we are not his equal. One of my favourite verses from the Psalms is Psalm 62 and verses 11 and 12, which says, One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard, that you, O God, are strong, and that you, O Lord, are loving. It reminds me of the two aspects of God's character that we have to hold in tension and which are equally important as Moses had to hold them in tension. If I only remember that God is loving, then I will have a wonderful time talking to him face to face, but it might lead me into two uh, erroneous ways. Firstly, it might cause me to doubt God's power. I might forget that he actually has power to change things in this world. Secondly, it might lead me to think that God is purely there for my happiness and my comfort and it might cause my prayers to be quite selfish. However, if on the other hand I only remember God's power and forget his love, then I might not bother to talk to him at all. I might be scared to talk to him. And if I do pluck up the courage to talk to him, I might forget that he is actually interested in me or I might even blame him for things that are going wrong in my life or in the world. However, if we can hold these two aspects of God's character, his almighty power and his infinite love in balance, just as Moses did, then we can enjoy talking to him face to face as to a friend and at the same time know that he holds us, our situation, and whatever is going on in the world in his control. We might not understand what is going on around us, but we'll be able to trust him. And in the midst of it, we will be able to rest in his peace. I hope you have a really good day.